Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Um, today's little task is uh, this, basically. Um, the tap. Looks okay, but uh, I'm not sure you can see it actually on camera. Losing a bit of its chrome just there. Um, so it doesn't look very pretty. It's been in quite a few years and uh, it's a bit wobbly as well. So, basically, nip down the screw fix today and bought myself a new one. Pretty much identical to, to what's on there already. Um, but obviously, a little bit tidier. So, uh, a lot cleaner, a lot uh, tighter. Just got to stick it on. Uh, not a particularly hard job. Um, below the monoblock here, you've got, I can actually show you on this one, let's get some of the rubbish out of the way. You've basically got a bracket like that and a screw like that and the bracket and the screw goes in the bottom and basically in the bottom of the tap itself you have got a hole there so that's where the, the actual bolt goes like so and then the pipes go in there and connect up to the bottom there so not a particularly difficult job but a little bit time consuming because I've got to get under the sink not the easiest things to get into um, I've got two isolator valves at the back on the pipe, so that's no big job. But uh, yeah, actually getting to that screw is a bit of a challenge, to say the least. But anyway, I'll get myself prepared, get myself ready, and um, I'll take you through the journey. Talk to you soon. So, as you can see, I've got uh, myself just about set up. I've got my mini sun <laughs> just blasting away there to give me plenty of light. It's actually an outside LED PIR light, but um, I thought it was broken and I managed to fix it. But uh, it comes in very handy for jobs like this. Right, so what I'm going to do first of all is, uh, if I, I'm going to move, if I can, I'm going to move this pipe out of the way. Like so it gives me a little bit more access. That's basically the overflow pipe, so I must remember to put it back on. Oops. Um, Of the crud in there, lovely jubbly, just give it a bit of a wipe up. So as I say, what I've got to do now is just isolate those two pipes there. So all we do, turn that so it's flat. Ooh, a little bit stiff. And turn that one. Again, a bit stiff, but that should then there we go, isolated off. So all I'm going to do now is basically take off the two unions there, there and there. I've got some flexible pipes so that'll be easier when it comes to install it again because these, these copper ones are a right pain in the backside to be honest. Um, very difficult to get in when I first did it as I remember. Obviously then got to get the, if I can just turn you around. Gonna get the bolt from up there if you can see that and then put the new one in. So let's get on with it. So as expected, slow progress. Uh, the pipes are off and it's now trying to get I'm gonna turn you upside down, this may look a bit crazy. I'm trying to get that blooming bolt just up there, and that's the only thing that holds all these taps on, these mono block taps. So basically it's trying to get that off so I can pull pull the whole monoblock through, but um, they're not easy to say the least. But, we persevere, we crack on. Okay, so the bolt retaining it at the bottom is out, and with a little bit of persuasion, <laughs> yeah, it may not come out. <laughs> ah, that's one of the pipes off, there you go. Um, yes, I'd, I have no idea why, they use copper pipes like this because they are absolutely atrocious to work with. The new ones are nice flexible ones and they're brilliant. They go wherever you want, do whatever you want. These darn things, you've got to get them so precise. Real pain in the backside. Anyway, now, out it comes. There you go. So that is all the monoblock tap is. So, all I've got to do now is put the new one in. Easy, eh? <laughs> right. Stop talking Reeves, get on with it. Okay, so it's time to prepare the new tab. So as I say, we've got flexible connections to go in, which are nice and easy. 
Obviously you can see there you've got a small o-ring on there to, to stop leaking. But what I tend to do, and I do this for everything, is get PTFE tape on there. Um, I know it's probably a little bit overkill, but PTFE tape is great for water, basically, which is what it's meant for. So it's great for sealing things up. I don't just rely on the, the rubber o-ring itself because as you're installing it, you only need to twist it half a turn and it will leak. So let's get some PTFE tape on there, get them mounted and get on with it. So there you go, just a bit of tape on the end there. Um, now one word of advice, whichever way you're screwing in, make sure you don't go against that because obviously as you screw it in there, it's going to go and unwind itself. So it's going to screw in yeah, clockwise, so make sure your PTFE tape goes anti-clockwise around there. Okay, right, let's get them mounted. Okay, so the pipes are in, just snugged up with a uh, adjustable spanner. Um, the O-ring is in, make sure you get that O-ring in, that's very important. So the last bit is this plate. Now you'll notice on the plate there is a, a flat bottom screw hole just there and that's for ramming it into that hole there to enable you to get uh, some purchase on it without uh, damaging the threads. Always remember to put your rubber seal on there as well because that's what holds it nice and tight. So all I've got to do now is plonk it through the hole and plumb it all up. Easy as that. So as you can see it's in and you can get a long reach socket on there and just about. So if I shine you up there or I'll take you up there, let's spring you around this side might be better. So uh, yeah, let's turn you upside down. So as you can see you can just about get a long reach socket on it and give it a good snugging up. So um, almost there, just got to uh, now connect up the pipes and uh, that's the job done. So, Well as always my videos contain warts and all so the problem I've got now is um, those connections are quite long and I've got to obviously scrunch them up a bit but unfortunately when you do that they kink. So I've got to find myself some connectors that are half the length which means the top's got to come off again which means it's going to set longer than expected. <sighs> Ah, so a solution, um, a little extension on the pipes there and uh, some speed fits, that's the solution, so let's see how well we do with these. Well it's in, it's not the prettiest of jobs but it's in, um, so the test now is, um, one going to get that pipe back on again and two, will it leak, well let's find out. Turn, turn the cox back on again. Okay, all good so far. That works alright. And the other one. Well, there we go, and no leaks. So I'm going to call that a success. And here's the best bit of the whole operation: the wife cleaning up after me. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, dear. No, you made a mess. You dirtied I'd my new put, sink. I put you a nice new tap on. You've put me a lovely new tap on. Is it clean? It's shiny now. Look. We'll inspect it, shall we? Go on. There you go, it's fully inspected.